Hello friends, today I'm going to solve lead code problem number 215, kth largest element in an array. So here we are given an integer array nums and an integer value k. We need to return kth largest element in the array. So the kth largest element is in the sorted order and it's not the distinct element. Okay. And it's asking us that can we solve it without sorting? So let's take this example and see how we can approach this problem. And let's also look at the constraint. So we are given that um, k is less than or equals to the length of the nums. And we have at least one element. And the value of nums could range from these two extreme values. Okay. Now using this example, let's look how we could solve this problem. So the first way brute force method would be basically to sort all of these elements and to find uh, the kth element starting from last, right? So if we sort this element, then we would get something like one, two, three, four, five, and six, right? And since we have been asked to find k equals to 2, so the second largest element is equals to 5, right? So what we do is just we count from the last where i is equals to 0 and we keep on counting until i is less than 2. i is less than k, right? So here i is equals to 1 and that is when we end up. So we return this value at this index, right? So this is sorting method and to sort an element, it would take O of n log n, right? Log of n time complexity. So we have been asked that can we solve it without sorting? So yes, we can solve it without sorting. And that could be done by using a mean heap as well. So what is a mean heap? Basically in mean heap, the element at the top it's kind of a tree so it's a tree structure and the element at the top root node is the smallest of all of these elements so let's suppose that we have been asked for to find the value k equals to 3 so k the largest value right so if we have a mean heap with um uh, with maximum of three nodes then the smallest value will be at the root node right and we know that smallest means it will be smaller than these two these two values so that will basically be kth largest element between these three one right so this is the concept that we are going to use here so what we'll do is we will insert all of these elements into our mean heap. So as we are inserting, we insert three. So initially there is no node. So three becomes the minimum, the element in the top. And next we insert two. As we are inserting two, three, two is less than three, right? So now our top element becomes equals to two. Okay, so I'm just going to create a tree randomly. I'm not following any uh, algorithm like how the internal structure is uh, so i'm just showing that the top element is two here now here we have one so now the top element is one so maybe we'll have something like this uh, branches and again we have five now so five is greater than one right so we could have five somewhere like this children of any one of the nodes and now if you would look k equals to three right but here we have k equals to four so what are we going to do is we are just going to uh, remove the top element from our in from our heap so the remaining element will be equals to the size of k okay so now we all only have remaining elements two five and three so let us remove one so we'll have a tree something like this and then next we have the value six so we add six so let's suppose six goes somewhere over here now again the tree size is equals to four we need to remove one of those elements so we remove two and then we'll have a tree with only three elements i mean a only three elements and this is the front 
next we again add a 4 so let's suppose 4 goes somewhere over here now again we remove the front element which is 3 so we remove 3 and then we need to have the minimum one right so the 4 4 will be the front because 4 is the minimum value so here 4 becomes the front okay and 4 is branched out to these two values so since 4 is the front and now we have added all of the values in our nums so this becomes our result right because now we have a mean heap with only k largest elements right k largest elements and among these the kth largest element is this one right that this is the third largest element this is the second largest element and this is the largest element so in this way we can use mean heap to solve our problem so this is one way and in this problem the time complexity would be as we are iterating over each of the values in our nums array to add it to our mean heap so that would be o of n and as we are inserting in our mean heap we also are performing heapify operation uh, internally right and that is a logarithmic time complexity so if our size maximum size is k then that would be log of k so our time complexity becomes o of n log of k and well this is less than the time complexity we used for sorting right which was o of n log of n right so the, this is a, an optimization but it is not a huge optimization also so we can even optimize it and solve it in linear time complexity but uh, i'll show it in a while let's first code this solution so let us uh, first create our mean heap equals new um, so in javascript uh, it doesn't have a heap library but lead code provides us with the heap library so i'm just going to use that one so mean priority queue so you can learn about this uh, javascript mean heap library or max heap library in lead code uh, lead code uh, okay so now that we have created our main heap now for iterating over each of the num of nums okay and we in queue mean heap so in queuing in queue the num and we need to check while we are in queuing if mean heap dot size if the size is greater than then k then what are we going to do is we are going to remove the first element right so that would be dq so we are dqing from our L, our mean heap now that we have our mean heap of max size equals to k the front element will be our result right so we are going to return the front element so mean okay mean heap dot front dot okay front is a function and element is where out is the property okay now let's try to run this and check if it works awesome let's submit this one great so we have been able to solve it using mean heap now let's try to optimize it even more so that we can solve it in logarithmic time complexity i mean uh, linear time complexity so okay so what are we going to do is we are going to start by finding the minimum and maximum value from this nums array so basically we will create an array over here the minimum is one and the maximum is six so we will create an array of of length um, six and each of the indices will here denote the values over here okay so zero one two three four five 
okay so we have an extra one so i'm just going to all right so now that we have created our array in this area we are going to keep the frequencies of each of the elements so three hood basically mean um it's pointing towards the index two right because like this is a minimum element so we would take the num and new m number minus the minimum value and minimum is equals to one and since this is a zero index area well we will end up at index number two so we insert the frequencies here so the frequency of three is equals to one also like each of these have frequency of one so we are just going to add a frequency of one over here let's suppose that we have two sixes okay so then this would be equals to two and let's suppose the value of k is equals to three so now we have our frequency array now what we're going to do is we start from the last and we count count the frequency so the frequency here is equals to two and then we again count over here the so frequency is equals to one so two plus one is equals to three so now here we found a frequency equals to three so this is the kth element so this index will represent the kth element the index index plus the minimum value right because that was what we used to find our nums i equals right i was equals to num minus minimum so now num is equals to i plus minimum value and that would be our result so this is using counting sort uh, algorithm so uh, now let's start coding this one it's an easy approach so first we need our minimum value so let minimum be equals to infinity and max value equals to negative infinity now we are going to create an array of okay now we need to find our minimum right so let num of nums and mean value equals math dot minimum of mean value and num and similarly max value equals Math that maximum of max value and num. So this will give us our minimum and max value. Okay. Now once we have it, we are going to create our array. So the length of the array will be equals to minimum value. I mean maximum value minus minimum value plus one. So let array calls new array of length max val minus mean val plus one okay now that we have our array we are going to count so let num of nums and um we also need to fill all of these with zero so initially the frequency is zero and then we are going to increment num minus um mean value plus plus so this gives us the index right and we are going to increase the frequency at that given index now that we have found our index let um count equals to zero and we are going to start our count from the end so i equals to error that length minus one i is greater than equals to zero and i minus minus and here um we are going to increment our count by the frequency at that given index right and we need to check if count is greater than equals to k in that case we found our result and we are going to return okay return um index i plus minimum value right okay now let's try to run this code okay so what went wrong here awesome let's submit this one 
Great. So for this case, the time complexity here is uh, since we are iterating over each of the value in our nums array, it is of n and this is also of n. And here we are iterating until and unless we found the count to be equals to k, right? So if the length of the array is m, so that would be of m. So the total time complexity is of m plus n. And the space complexity is O of m over here because we are creating an array, right? And that is all about this solution. So I hope you like my solution. If so, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.